All right, guys. So we've been finding the events, which some of you guys should have. Uh, we got a new heavy cruiser gun from the list. You get this at thirty thousand or something, maybe less. Yeah, thirty thousand points. So heavy cruiser gun, uh, Russian one. How good is this gun? Let's find out. So let's go ahead and go to uh, London. Let's go ahead and look at this gun. So right here, I already made it at plus ten already. So we'll go ahead and equip that. We'll go ahead and do comparisons with the other guns in the game. So as always, I'm not going to compare with the Drake gun. We already know Drake gun is like best in slack for probably the end of the game's lifetime. For I don't think we're going to replace this heavy cruiser gun at all. But we'll talk about the other guns that are also good for heavy cruiser. Uh, the Baltimore gun and this gun right here we got from an event. I forgot which one event it was, but we got it from an event. I think it was like a Brunhill and Boucher's event or something like that. Um, or blue shirts event one of those events anyways though let's go ahead and compare so right off the bat it has more damage than the baltimore gun 55 compared to 51 times six so these guns right here if you guys don't know it's two sets of three so it goes three three for six shots for one um reload is about 0.5 seconds slower so about half a second but a little bit more damage is a trade-off so that seems pretty good then we look at modifiers right here. Uh, 22, 22 velocity speed, so it's normal there. 65 on light, so it's a little bit lacking on the light armor department, so like basically mob clearing. But on the heavy armor aspect, it is 10 higher compared to the Baltimore gun. So honestly, nowadays, I feel light armor is like for mobbing is pretty decently important. Um, if you guys, again, if you guys don't have Drake gun, like any kind of heavy cruiser gun you guys can slap on, basically work just fine. So this one's aimed more towards heavy armor, because if you guys don't already know, it has basically the same modifiers for heavy armor as um, the Drake gun right here. So it's actually not that bad. For heavy armor, it's definitely like on par. It's a little bit behind the firepower, but it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close compared to the uh, Drake gun right there. So heavy armor stuff, like... Uh, Arbiter Hermit, the current meta fight, uh, Queen Elizabeth meta, definitely very, very good there. And then we look at the other heavy cruiser gun we have right here. Um, again, uh, two less damage compared to the one we have as of right now. Uh, faster on reload by about, again, 0.5 seconds. So literally the same as Baltimore gun difference. And this one right here is 15 behind on light armor, 5 behind on the medium armor, but 20 higher on the heavy armor department. That's actually pretty good. So once again, this gun is basically aimed towards heavy armor stuff. So if you guys want it for heavy heavy armor duty or whatever, pretty much you want to use this gun. As for medium armor, um, it's it, it's fine for medium armor. I think it's probably like up there as well too. You probably won't be missing out on too much of uses for medium armor. Uh, the big thing about this gun is basically you want to use it for heavy armor stuff. It's not great for light armor. It's basically for heavy armor. And it does medium armor content just fine. So basically a simple heavy cruiser gun. Don't think too much of it. Uh, you can do all the math formulas if you guys want. But it's base it's it's a really good heavy cruiser gun. If you guys don't have Drake guns, it's basically up there. Alongside the Baltimore gun, the uh, the twin 203 mm SKC. This gun's basically up there as well, too. It's just aimed more towards heavy armor. That's pretty much it. So, uh, that's it for that video, guys. So, if you guys have heavy cruisers, which you guys should have a lot of, just toss them on for basically any medium armor and heavy armor duty stuff. And you will be just fine. So, good luck to you guys on farming as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.